Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 7th July 2023, the Ministry of Defense has released an RFI for the procurement of self-propelled air defense gun. This gun is intended to provide close air defense protection to mechanized formation against the evolving and dynamic air threat. The system should have matching mobility with mechanized elements in all terrains. The weapon system should be a mix of both gun and missile mounted on a single or dual platform of either track or wheeled vehicle. The system will have a low RCS 3D acquisition cum fire control radar, electro-optical fire control system and a fire control computer. The gun should be able to engage aerial targets both with the fire control radar and through EOFCS during day and night while the missile should be able to engage targets through EOFCS both by day and night. The system will be able to carry out acquisition and tracking of targets on the move and engage aerial targets effectively with gun on the move and with missile on short halts. The system should have the capability to engage fighter aircrafts, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, unmanned combat aerial vehicles and cruise missile at a range not less than 6.5 kilometers. The system will be deployed in all terrains like desert, plains, high altitude and mountain areas up to an altitude of 5 km. The expected range of the platform is 320 km and speed between 40 to 60 km per hour depending on terrain. It should have protection against small firearms like 7.62 mm and shell splinters equivalent to Stenag level 2 or 3 or better ballistic protection from top frontal arc, rear sides, including fuel tank and other external fittings. The last date to respond to this RFI is 21st August 2023. Talking about the radar, it is a low RCS 3D AESA with a digital beam forming and should have multifunction capability to include track while scan and work through jamming. It should be capable of 360 degree surveillance, target detection and tracking. The search radar should be capable of detecting a low altitude target of RCS 1 meter square from a range of 20 km such as fighter jets and RCS of 0.05 meter square from a range of 10 km such as attack helicopters and RCS of 0.01 meter square from a range of 5 km such as unmanned aerial systems or cruise missiles. The minimum detection range of radar is 300 meters. In addition to radar tracking, the electro-optical fire control system should be incorporated for angular tracking of air targets both during day and night, snow, rain, dust and poor visibility conditions. The EO device should consist of thermal imaging site and optical site for tracking during day and night having minimum range of 8 kilometers. The range details is to be provided by laser range finder, which will also have a range of 8 km. The radar or EOFCS controlled gun should be capable of firing programmable proximity fuse or simple proximity fuse ammunition and HE ammunition. The missile system should have either IR homing or laser beam riding for terminal guidance with a minimum range of 6.5 km. The system should have maximum 6 ready to fire missile. The reaction time of missile should be less than 3 seconds from time of issuing the command. The gun and radar should be mounted on the same vehicle in case of multi-vehicle configuration and the missile with additional sight will be mounted on another vehicle. The gun should have caliber of 30 mm or more with a range greater than 3.5 km and not less than 2.5 km. If the gun is a single barrel one, it should have 35 mm caliber or more and minimum rate of fire of 300 rounds per minute. The multi-barrel gun can have caliber less than 35 mm but minimum rate of fire will be around 600 rounds per minute. DRDO has already built the radar and required electronics to guide the air defense gun. DRDO's lab LRD has developed an air defense fire control radar ADFCR 
mounted on a 4x4 truck which works in conjunction with anti-aircraft guns forming a ground-based air defense system whose main purpose is effective point defense against aerial threats at short and very short ranges during day and night under all weather condition. The system consists of an X-band active array antenna based 3D search radar, K-band tracking radar, electro-optical sensors for passive 2D tracking and LRF for radar independent ranging, gun control unit, power generator and a suitable equipped commander's cabin mounted on a single high mobility vehicle. This system is capable of controlling more than two guns simultaneously. As per few reports, the light tank platform being developed by DRDO and LRT will be offered for the SPAD GMS program. However, there is no official confirmation from DRDO on this. At the same time, the possibility of this cannot be denied as a joint venture between DRDO and LNT is also working on the prototype of light tank of 25 ton category and same tracked platform can be easily modified to develop air defense gun. At the same time, the prototype of DRDO's light tank will be ready by 2023, which must be used as an opportunity to commence the work on SPAD GMS prototype. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.